limoncello is an Italian drink where you take the zest of lemons and stick it into a clear alcohol. In this case, I'm gonna be using Everclear. I'll show you how, let's go. I picked up these lemons from Costco. I got two five pound bags. We've got about 24 lemons, but even though they're orga organic, I think they've got some wax on them. So we've got to get the wax off. To get the wax off, we'll put the lemon in boiling water for about five seconds. Take it out. You can all put a pile of them in here. I prefer to run them under cold water and give them a little brush and get all that wax off. Now you've got clean lemons. Now that we've got these lemons all cleaned up, and rinsed off, we need to dry them. Paper towel. And now they are ready to put on the grater. I've got a grater with a catch bin on it so I can put the zest in it. And then we'll put this all with the alcohol, which is just a neutral grain alcohol, uh, 190 proof, 1.75 liters. So I'm using five pounds, turns out to be about 24 lemons. Um, they're a good size lemon. Uh, so this should be enough for what we're looking for. You can use a knife, but this seems to go a little bit faster. Um, and, and the grater will only go so thick so you don't get too far into the pith, which will make it bad. You see a little bit of the wax still left in the dimples. I'll try to get a paper towel and wipe a little bit of that off. When you're done, the lemon should look pretty much like this. I'll put it in a separate bowl and we can juice that lemon later. Alternatively, you can get a zester, place it across your bowl, and you can zest it like this, but I need two hands. Look at all these beautiful lemons that have been zested. Look at all those beautiful lemon zest. It's very oily, it's beautiful. Got a little tiny bit of pith in some of this, but that's not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna affect the flavor too much as long as most of this is zest. Let's put it in a container. So I've got a two liter growler that I've had with some sanitizer in it. I'm just gonna rinse it out. I'm gonna put the pith in this and then fill it up with a 1.75 liter of Everclear. So I have a two gallon pot, filled it up two thirds of the way so we can make room for the half gallon growler. Let's raise this up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll let it warm up. That's what I've done. I've got a funnel so we don't lose any. Push it in a little bit. Push it in. If you have a large mouth jar like a gallon pickle jar, this will be perfect for you to use. I don't have one. Now that we have it all in here, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse all the leftover juice in here. We're going to rinse it out, pour it in here. Now we're going to fill it up. You wanna make sure to put all the lemon in here first before you put the alcohol in because you don't want to waste any of the lemon and you can always go with a little less alcohol. It's gonna be really close. Yep, oh, almost made it. Look, right at the top and that's our dinger saying that our Water is hot, 130 degrees. Let's put it in here. Look at that. Make sure the lid's on tight. Now you can leave this in here for as long as you want. It's not gonna go anywhere. I've seen some people have a recipe for about four hours. Well, at 1.30, it's gonna take about four hours for it to get right up to temperature. I like to sit with 12 hours to 24 hours. I prefer 24 hours because it keeps the same schedule from day to day. And by the time you're off work, you're ready to package it up and make the limoncello with the simple syrup and the water. I'll show you how to do that when we come back. Well, I just got off of work and it's been in the sous vide for at least 30 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out about one ounce of it, 
put a one ounce ice cube and then one ounce of simple syrup and we'll give it a test. I've got some simple syrup I've made. Take one ounce of this. I put the ice cube in here because it just came out of the sous vide so it's still at about 135 degrees Fahrenheit. See so yeah, as it turns that milky color when you add the water to it, that's just a normal process. Pour it in there. Should be about a total of three ounces. Should have some nice thick legs on there with the alcohol and the simple syrup. It should cling on pretty well, but we're not gonna wait forever. Taste it, shall we? That's good. Not an overpowering lemon flavor. It's more of a, uh, almost like a confectionery sweet lemon, almost like a lemon heads kind of candy. Well, there you have it. This is what I have for this specific batch, starting with just this one. And this is what I've been able to fill up so far. With this specific batch, my end result was seven cups of simple syrup, six and a half cups of the pure alcohol and seven and a half cups of water and that brought it to a point where i thought it was a good mixture of flavor versus a little bit of alcohol without having a good bite to it so there you go mix it i mixed it in a two gallon crock pot and i filtered it with a metal screen and then i filtered it again with coffee filters it takes a while but it's better to get all that out it should filter out any residue of wax and whatnot